This question is entirely about vocabulary, and it's vocabulary that the SAT loves to ask about, so you have to memorize this. No, everyone, no matter what score you're aiming for, this is something that could easily save you 10 points. Uh, they're giving us uh, what I see as two equations, but more about that in a second. K is a constant, means it's just a number. Uh, the equation has infinitely many solutions. What is the value of K? So if there are infinitely many solutions, it basically means that they, they intersect at every single point. So um, well, the way that I think of this is even though it is listed as one equation, my brain wants to think of this as a system of equations that is on the xy plane, right? So if we graphed two equations, y equals 3x plus 21 and y equals 3x plus k, we would want both of those lines to literally be the same. They overlap at every single point, right? So then the question is, okay, what value of k would do that? Well, if they were literally the same line, then there you go, 21. So in this case, I understand why some of you maybe think that that extra step of dividing into two equations is kind of cumbersome and unnecessary, but uh, there will be harder versions of this question. And I do think that in general, it's a little nicer to think of it as two separate equations with each one with a y equals rather than this merged equation. I think just when we see the one equation, there's a temptation to like subtract three x from both sides. And you can do that, but then you're like, okay, like what does that even mean? 21 equals k. Like, yeah, that's the answer, but I think it starts to kind of just like make your brain sputter a little bit because it's just weird. And, and then other things can happen if we have similar situations like no solutions. So these are all conceptual things that are definitely like helpful to understand in an abstract way. But if you have trouble with that, bring it back to just simple lines, right? These are two lines on a graph. They both have y equals mx plus b equations. What should those two equations look like to produce the situation that they've asked for? Infinitely many solutions just means it's the same equation, so both the slopes and the y-intercepts need to be the same, and that's why, in, in my mind, k was 21 here. Make sure you memorize infinitely many solutions. It is very likely to come up on your SAT.